Hi everyone. For today's topic, let us have contemporary economic issues affecting the Filipino entrepreneur. Saving an investment. At the end of the lesson, the learners should be able to define saving an investment, understand the importance of saving an investment, and discuss the effects of saving an investment on the economy. Before we proceed to our discussion, let us try to answer the following questions. 1. It refers to setting aside the money you don't spend now for emergencies or a future purchase. A. Investment. B. Saving. C. Insurance. D. All of the above. The answer is B. Saving. 2. It refers to buying assets such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds or real estate that is expected to grow in the future. A. Investment. B. Saving. C. Insurance. D. All of the above. The answer is A. Investment. 3. The levels of investment are affected by blank. A. Interest rates. B. Confidence. C. Economic growth. D. All of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. 4. The levels of savings are influenced by blank. A. Interest rates. B. Confidence. C. All of the above. D. None of the above. The answer is C. All of the above. 5. In neoclassical economics, it is assumed that the level of saving is equal to the level of investment. A. The statement is correct. B. The statement is incorrect. C. The statement is sometimes correct. D. None of the above. The answer is A. The statement is correct. Let us check if you still remember our lesson last time. Give at least three effects of the exchange rate on the following economic entities. 1. Importer of raw materials. 2. Exporter of goods. 3. Overseas Filipino workers. Saving is setting aside the money you don't spend now for emergencies or a future purchase. It is the money you want to access quickly, with little or no risk, and with the least amount of taxes. Financial institutions offer several different savings options. The savings ratio is the percentage of income that is saved. The Philippines' gross savings rate decreased to 11.6% in March 2020. People have been discouraged to spend more due to the pandemic. The levels of savings are influenced by the following indicators. 1. Interest rates. A high interest rate will inspire households to save more. 2. Confidence. A low confidence can encourage households to save. Investment, in economics, is defined as an addition to the capital stock which is known as gross fixed capital formation. For example, the investment can involve spending on factories or new capital. 
The Philippines' gross fixed capital formation decreased gradually to US$22 billion US dollars in March 2020. For individuals, investment is buying assets such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or real estate with the expectation that the investment will make money in the future. Investment can also involve spending on human capital such as investment in training and education. Investment, in economics, is defined as an addition to the capital stock which is known as gross fixed capital formation. For example, the investment can involve spending on factories or new capital. The Philippines' gross fixed capital formation decreased gradually to US$22 billion US dollars in March 2020. In neoclassical economics, it is assumed that the level of saving is equal to the level of investment. This is because the investment is determined by available savings in the economy. If there is an increase in savings, then banks can lend more to firms to finance investment projects. In a simple economic model, we can say the level of saving is equal to the level of investment. S is equal to I. For your activity. Please read the directions. You may answer this after watching the video. To summarize what you have learned in the lesson, answer the following questions. 1. What is saving? Investment. 2. What are the effects of saving an investment on the economy? 1. Reflect on this. Do not save what is left after spending, instead spend what is left after saving. Warren Buffett. Let us check if you have learned something today. Please answer the post-test.